Yo, what's good everybody? Today I want to talk about Soda Online Fractured Daydream and what we know about the game so far. We know that the game does release in 2024 sometime. We don't know the exact date yet, but those of you guys who don't know, there is a closed beta that you can sign up for to be able to play the game during the week of March. Um, you know, make sure you go hit the link. It's on the Twitter and everything like that. We know that there's six characters so far, and as Kirito as a fighter type, then we have Argo as a rogue type, then we have then we have Agile as a tank, like usual. Then we have Shinon as a ranger, and then we have Leafa as a support, like usual. And then we got Obreon as a mage, which sounds interesting. It's the first time we're gonna see him in like a game since Asuka versus Sao, I think. So we know that there's chain combos. We got boss battles. We got crossplay which is very big for an anime game that's something that anime games barely get it's got some ultimates um chain combinations switch combinations the game's pretty sick um there's a lot of things that i would like to see um we know like i said that we know that the game's being made by dimps we know that the game is based off a story of its own time it's not based off the anime or novel it has its own thing going on but it does have a lot of the past coming back to it and stuff like that so that is a pretty cool concept um here's some gameplay that we actually got from the game the game definitely looks more smoother you can tell that dimps is making it there's a huge party of the four people each team so there's five teams of four people which makes the 20 that's what they really uh, were like targeting a lot so here's some gameplay we got kirito and then we got an argo player um, it looks like the voice actors are playing these two characters. So we got the Kirito and the Argo. I'm not gonna lie Here's a chest. There's things that you can grab from it So one the green thing is health it looks like and then the other stuff makes your attack go up So we kind of see that there's ways to uh, get your attack up and get your health up. So here's some gameplay um, Kirito looks kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie out of the two though that they shown Argo looks really fun. You can level up each time you kill while grabbing those orbs. It helps you level up your character so the more you level up i believe the more skills you get towards your character to do more moves what's cool about argo is her movement is crazy like, look at that they evade she's got some really cool movement like i really like the way they made argo and she might be one of my favorites to use um so here we got some gameplay uh that looks like in order to get that you have to um level up your character so each kill you get the more blue orbs you grab i believe that's how you level up your character um that i think they were saying that thing on the bottom is the ultimate that you can do um here's some just attacking looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie the game looks mad fluid here's you know a little scene of lifo can fly you know you can double jump in this game which is actually really good because that's not a lot of the sword unlock games i don't think the jumps are very stiff in a lot of those games so that's actually pretty cool look at her movement she got canceled side steps it's pretty dope you can heal yourself with something as you can see she just healed herself um and it says support but i don't think leafa did anything there i believe that she actually used something to heal herself here's some gameplay by the cyber cyber 2. now this is basically saying that these are things that helps you level so the greens help the red is to get your attack up um as you can see the more you accumulate the attack goes up the health goes up it's a pretty cool concept to have like a stat boost i actually pretty like that and here's a switch combination they did here not sure what it does but it looks like it knocks them down and now you're able to chain combos with the team which is cool i like look at see pretty cool see now i believe that blue bar is the knockdown yeah see okay yeah it looks like the blue bar that fills up like that i think that is the knockdown so here we see Kirito chaining the uh, skill attacks that you can do. Argo just got knocked down. The way you can combo in the air looks mad, really fluid. Like I really do like that. So here you can arrive your partner. I see him, he's trying to arrive him, but look, he just, <laughs> I don't think he knows how to. That's the problem with watching these people play these games sometimes. They don't make the game look good. And that was the big problem with Jutsu Kaisen. So, I mean, honestly, regardless of how they're playing, like I like the skill attacks. Look, Kirito looks cool. Um, here we go, some Argo gameplay. They're talking about the LB thing. I'm not sure what exactly that does because she never actually does it here. But I mean, we're seeing our gameplay, which looks pretty cool. Um, the, 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 I really like the fact that you can jump like that in this game. I don't know if Kirito can, but it looks like Argo has like like a ninja move set, which that's why I really like how she's moving like that. Um, there we go. We see Leafa's ultimate. They're doing uh, like a like a bigger boss now. There goes uh, Argo's ultimate which is cool she has like a maximum spider spider-man kind of thing going on there so kirito just heals himself as you can see there here's before you get to a big boss battle it looks like you can meet up with all the teammates and you see them all running into it. it's crazy that they got that many players 
in a lobby versing a boss right now. It, it, I think that that's going to be a big thing for this game. So as you can see, we're versing, he's versing one of the bosses from, the, I think, believe the season, the first season. Um, so this is where they were talking about the blue bar here. So that blue bar, the higher it gets up, you get the knockdown state from them. So you're able to keep hitting them while they're on the knockdown state. That's basically what that means with that. So here we go. You got Leafa throwing the ultimate, Secure to attacking. Argo doing some skill attacks towards the wall. <laughs> um, like I said, this game is it, looking really clean. I think he goes for the ultimate soon. I think the Kirito does. Yeah, there you go. See, here's the ultimate. The clean, man. It, it, it's looking great. It's a lot of stuff going on in this fight right here, but it's looking really clean. You see the skill attacks again. Um, you can see that there's so many players. And so there's proof that there's a lot of players in, you know, this game. So you can see it's kind of like a boss battle. You see, you can see where he's about to attack. Here it says a counter chance. So... The counter chance when they're loading up a move is basically telling you to everybody has to go in each circle to go for the counter attack to stop them from doing that big move kind of like xenoverse did when you verse the apes and stuff like that it's basically the same type of stuff but here you see they defeated them they got some awards and now they go back to the lobby i'm not sure what this is but it shows the player card friend recent player steam friend and in front and box which is pretty cool here's some of the customizations so there's confirmed that there's customizations uh we don't i don't think there's avatars but you can see you can customize your character which is cool i was hoping that was going to be a thing in this game which of course dims is making this so it's got to be you can see argo she changed argo's outfit put the glasses on her he put a little bow tie on kirito's head you got the gas mask here's the lobby before you get into the match i like this pretty cool you know each character got customized i really i really do like what they're doing with this game it looks really good here's a load in that character looks sick with the proton source i'm not gonna lie argo look argo just looks cool yeah I, she's like one of the coolest ones in this game here's some more you're talking about the equipment you got the skin so there's definitely a lot more skins in this game here's a lobby that before you know loading up kind of like just kaisen um you guys are just messing around a lobby before the game starts there's a bunch of people loading in now they're bursting a big raid boss um that's pretty cool that there's character intros too i really like that they did that for this game so basically this is just more gameplay on the game so so what we know so far is that this game is being developed by dimps the there is a team of 20 people in each party so you can have four people each party teams up five teams so it makes 20 players um there's boss raids we got ultimate skill attacks you have to level up the blue orbs give you um, uh, level up. Uh, the red gives you attack up. Green gives you health. You can heal yourself. We got support ta types, tank types, spider types, um, close range, like range types. Then you have rogue. Um, so far, the beta only has six player per characters. Um, the second week of March is when it starts. You can sign up now. We know that the game story is being um, is is this game exclusive story which is pretty neat i'm excited for that um you know this combination is change attacks the blue bar that the, the bosses have you reach that all the way up it leads them to a knockdown state as you can see right here it's showing it right there um we know that the i kind of want pvp but there's nothing showing of that so far i'm really hoping to see that i just don't think that's going to be a thing oh here's what it's showing you how to actually do the counter what i was talking about earlier so you know you can counter the the boss raise big attack kind of like how xenoverse when you verse the great ape and they do a move you, you just go into an encounter at the right time you can counter it um we know that the game's cross play like i said i think um we know there's customization now for for each of the main cast um there's definitely going to be more characters i was saying there's going to be at least 20 um we know that the game uh is going to come out in 2024 we don't know what date exactly yet uh, we know that the gameplay is definitely fluid compared to the last two games that came out. Dims did a good job with that. Um, I don't know what else that there is so far. Um, lobbies, friends, all that stuff. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's a lot, still a lot more to see, but I'm out. Peace.